All right, there's a high school located in Manchester that's been in existence since 1961. Yes, they're celebrating 60 years of Catholic education. This private high school is for students in grades 9 through 12, and you don't have to be Catholic to attend. It's a place where every student is known, gets the attention they deserve, and are happy to be there. Take a look at East Catholic. Uniforms on, masks on, it's another great day of in-person learning for these kids at East Catholic High School in Manchester. Before this, I went only to public school, so this is like my first time going to a private school. Um, it's definitely really different from going to a public school, but uh, I really like that. I feel like it's very disciplined and um, it's like has a focus on education and extracurricular activities, which I really like. That's senior Jency Manhurts, one of about 500 kids that call East Catholic their high school. Natalie Riley was a student here and now has two sons attending the school. I had the opportunity to transfer here as a junior. I felt like I belonged right away. I loved the opportunity to meet kids from all the surrounding towns, all the new faces. Uh, the teachers were nothing but caring, and um, it was just a wonderful experience. The thing that I felt when I came here I see it in my own sons, I see it in many of the, in all the students, the student body, I think I hear it when I talk to parents, is that everybody is a somebody. Everybody is somebody here at East Catholic, especially during these trying times. I would say we are so thankful for how East Catholic has handled the pandemic. They've taken all the precautions. Um, but they have also found a way to have the kids be in school. In school learning? Let's simplify. Five plus three I minus seven plus two I. Simplify that and see if you have that on your board. If you have it on your board, you can cross it out. Here we are subtracting these two complex numbers. Singing. Okay, Matthew, yes. that was the best you sang it. Oh. Okay. That was really good. Oh, thank you. Well done, man. Yeah. It, it cut right through. And playing in the band. David Bruds is the instrumental music director for East Catholic. He's been here for 16 years and loves it. It's good to hear live music. We heard a little bit of it, and you're making it happen here. Yeah, we're trying. Um, it's difficult. It's, there's challenges. Um, just trying to keep everybody spaced out and safe. Um, the bands are meeting in small groups uh, spread out throughout the auditorium. Um, doors are open, air is ventilating through, um, and this, just trying to keep everybody safe. But it's good to have them playing together. And speaking of playing together, oh, they have sports too. But of course, you know East Catholic's amazing reputation when it comes to high school sports. Our girls and boys uh, hockey teams, our girls and boys basketball teams um, have, been, uh, have been having great success this, this winter and we're looking forward to the spring. That's Sean Patrick Brennan. He's the president of the school and I've been summoned to his office. No, I'm not in trouble. Sean wants to tell me more about this wonderful Catholic high school. So the arts and the athletics, the extracurriculars have been a huge part of being able to keep the students involved in addition to the academic load. Although he's only been here a short time, he's no stranger to the school. He graduated in 1985. So you have the opportunity to return here um, has been a, a real blessing and, and a calling. It really is a calling, right? It really is. So, and uh, I've done, I've run other schools uh, in, in New England and uh, and really what East Catholic needed, I think at the time, matched up with the skills that I, that I can bring in as far as leadership. And um, it's, been, it's been great. I've been very well received. Um, people are working really hard here. Who's going to college after graduating from East Catholic? Just about everyone. It's almost 100%, so you know, high 90s. Um, there may be some that choose a military option or choose something different, but the majority by far, um, you know, 97, 98% are going off to at least two year, but mostly four year colleges. That's correct. Um, and wonderful colleges, um, you know, schools that are right for them. We have a counseling office that does a good job finding those students that are the right fit um, and making sure that they're going to be successful when they get there. And just in case you're wondering, you don't have to be Catholic to attend the school. About 30% of our students here are non-Catholic. 
Uh, Thirty percent are non-Catholic. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big percentage. It is. We still teach religion classes right. as part of a, as, as a part of a Catholic school. That's a, a foundation of what we do here. But we're all our teachers are incredibly open to the fact that not everybody is Catholic, but they can still get a great experience out of those classes. East Catholic High School. Could it be the choice for your child? They're spectacular. Um, they're the nicest, most dedicated, hardest working students. Um, I have students that are in four AP classes, three clubs, and play in all the top bands and make all state. I don't know how honestly they do it. Um, but they're all, I, they're just dedicated, wonderful. Kids open the door for you and say good morning. Um, they say thank you, you know, and just all the little things. Um, and the faculty here is, is excellent. There's a great camaraderie. They're all really knowledgeable and really dedicated. It's just a great place to, to be every day. I don't feel like I'm going to work, honestly. Yeah, that's the kind of school I want my kid in. And for whatever reason, during the pandemic, if a child needs to stay at home, they've got virtual learning as well. Yeah, and if you'd like more information on East Catholic High School, you can go to their website. It is echs.com. And we want everyone out there to enjoy the rest of the school year. Yeah, it's already April already, Kara. Can you Wild, believe it? Wild, yeah. All right.